Alrighty, so we are going to do some Pilates in our session this evening. We're going to be starting in a standing position and we're going to be challenging our balance and our control. We're going to work on our breath. And as we move through the sequence, we'll be working to tone the muscles. And we're going to do quite a few reps to get the muscles working and be really mindful that your, your pace is matching your breath work okay really deep breaths down into the base part of your ribs down here um that you're taking nice deep big breaths and if you become unbalanced at any point which might happen all right if you do just take a second rebalance brace your core and then catch up again into the movement so try not to rush through the movements you want to be in full control the whole way through so come on over to your mat we're going to start by mobilizing the body and also um, challenging our balance as well so bring your feet first of all really close in together i like to do pilates like i said before in um, bare feet because i feel closer to the ground i get better proprioception and reception from the floor so i kind of feel where i'm going um, I find carpet much harder than tile too. So, <laughs> but there we go. So finding the position that's comfortable for you, socks, bare feet, whatever you want. We're gonna start feet together, taking some movement into the arms. So this is all we're starting with, slow and steady. As you do this, the first thing that I want you to become aware of is the movement of your shoulders. As you lift those arms up, are your shoulders at the top, are they coming up with you like this? If they are, let those shoulder blades go down the body as those arms lift up overhead. Okay, so we're simply letting the shoulders come up or the hands and the arms rise up and the shoulder blades slide down the back. So we're isolating the movement to the joint of the shoulder. Now, as you're doing this, I want you to now think about your breath. So, as the arm comes up, take a breath in. Exhale through the mouth as the arms come down. Beautiful. One more, up and down. Excellent, let the hands find their side, by, your body, by the side of your body. We're gonna take one foot onto tippy toes starting to challenge the balance brace through your core so what do we mean here we mean drawing that belly button in lifting and scooping up through the pelvic floor and then also these waist muscles here just giving them a little squeeze in okay so belly pelvic floor and that waist so we're on a toe if we can we're going to take that foot off the floor and create single leg balance Breathe, good. Adding now some movement, so extend the foot and bring it back. So we're taking the knee into an extension and a flexion. Slow and steady, that's good, that's good. And now extend that leg out. If you can do this whilst keeping the four foot floor free, free of the floor, bring the leg behind and around. There we go. So we're sweeping that leg. Now, if you do find that this is really challenging on the balance, toe taps to start with. Tap the toe to the front, the side to the back, side, and the hands, they can be wherever you feel comfortable. So take them out, follow your balance, pop them onto the hips, wherever you feel comfortable is fine. If you can take that foot off the floor once you're ready, ooh, wibble wobble. Last one, bring that foot back to the center and we come to the other side. So come onto that toe first of all, brace through that belly, through that core area. Lift that leg, single leg balance. And the beauty about single leg balance is not only is it great to improve our balance, 
which then helps in lots of different other ways, reduces risks of falls, makes us more stable. But it's also strengthening as well because we're putting all the weight through one leg. Okay, now add that knee extension. So foot comes out and in. There we go. So strong controlled movement. Use your breath and concentrate. And then when you're ready, try to keep that toe off the floor if you can. You're going to take the leg out, around and back. Remember, tap, tap, tap if you need a little bit of a touch. So if you need to touch the floor, tap, tap. Otherwise, that leg is up off the floor. Ooh, controlled through those abs. <laughs> We're all a bit wobbly sometimes, right? That's it. A couple more. How you doing? And bring it back in. Lovely. Take those feet just a little bit wider. So roughly in line with those hips. Pull your belly button in. Lift that pelvic floor. Pop those hands on your hips. Bring the knees in tight. I'm really joking, that's another song, isn't it? <laughs> so, hands on hips. We're gonna tilt your pelvis. So I want you to push your pubic bone forwards and now push your tailbone backwards. So if I come to the side, the tailbone is pushed backwards. There's a small lordosis and a little bit of an arch here. And then I push, so I flatten the back and I'm scooping through the belly. So rock and rock. Rolling through that pelvis. Now, everybody has different ranges here. Some people may need a bit of softness in those knees to get that going. That's okay. If your range is pretty small, this is something that you can work on. That's it, we're gonna do a couple more. And then what I want you to do is imagine that you're gonna bring your tailbone as far under as you can. Now push it as far back as you can. And this time bring your hips halfway between those two positions. It isn't quite your normal standing position. It feels like you're scooping your tailbone under and scooping the belly in a little bit more than you would normally. But we're gonna try and keep this long posture in our standing position. So we've pulled, imagine there's a weight on that tailbone and it's pulling down, flattening out the lower back a little bit. All right, so come to the edge of your mat. Brace through the core, arms above the head. Take a deep breath in. The hands come down, drop your chin. I nearly went into yoga then, my apologies. Drop your chin and now start to roll your spine. Roll, 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 roll. All the way down towards the floor, reaching those fingers. Come like as far as you feel like you can. If you stop here, that's fine. If you can come to the floor, then that's great. Once you're down as far as you can go, softening the knees if you need to, hands by the floor, walk forwards with those hands into a high plank. Lift and brace that belly, shoulder blades in, deep breath. And as you exhale, walk in all the way hands to feet and now we uncurl the spine from the base roll 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 slowly slowly all the way up lifting that head and the arms and we come down again not yoga this time hands to thighs we are doing pilates suzanne come on all right chin to chest start your roll down Roll, roll, roll. That's it, rolling all the way down to the floor and then walking out to high plank, bracing your body and taking a full breath in and exhaling, return back. Uncurl that spine, thinking vertebrae by vertebrae, stacking each one on top of the other, rolling those shoulders back. That's 
stand tall. Let's do that one more time. Nice big breath. Exhale and roll down. Coming all the way down to the floor. Slowly, slowly walking out nice and controlled into the high flank. Lock those shoulder blades down. Brace. Deep breath. Knees now to the floor. Release those feet. Take your hands slightly wider this time than at your shoulders. Ever so slightly wider. Rock your body weight forward so shoulders sit above those wrists and then slowly lower down. And slowly lift. Lower down. And up. Notice how your elbows are coming towards your ribs. We're going to do two more. Down and lift. Once more, come all the way down. Lift. Rest for a brief moment in a child's pose. Turn your palms up to the ceiling and give them a wiggle. Beautiful. Okay. I like to have a little wiggle around in the wrists, bring a bit of movement, particularly nowadays because I spend so much time on the laptop. Bringing some wrist mobility in is really nice. And then when you're ready, come and join me in a tabletop. So tabletop, we want those hands under your shoulders, a little gap between those knees, sitting just under those hips. Shoulder blades, roll them back. Tuck your shoulder blades down your back, almost imagining that, that you've got wings attached, right? Wings are attached to those shoulder blades and you wanna tuck those wings in like a little bird. So, we want you to pull your chest up. If you need to watch, we're gonna work your rhomboids, which is the muscle right between your shoulder blades. You need to have a little look, because this is a bit of a weird press. You push the back up, and what's happened here is my shoulder blades have separated and now I'm going to let my chest drop down and I'm squeezing the shoulder blades in. But what you'll notice is that my sh the top of my shoulder, it doesn't encroach upwards towards the ears. So the movement then looks like this. Up and down. So it's those wings. They're coming out and they're tucking in. Coming out and tucking in. It's a slow and controlled movement. Of not a massive muscle, so you may fatigue and become tired quite quickly. And notice that there's no bend happening in your back. You're not dropping your chin. You're not curling through the back. The only thing that is really moving are your shoulder blades. We're going to do four more. And three. Two. And one. Beautiful. Sit onto those heels and come up. Excellent. We will be back in that tabletop position for bird dog in just a moment. But before we go down there, we're going to come into the hinge. This position here is where you'll be working down towards. If this is uncomfortable in the knees, and I appreciate that it is in some people, a really great thing to do is to put a cushion or a rolled up towel between the calf and the thigh, and it just stops you coming all the way down and taking the knee into flexion that maybe it doesn't feel like it wants. Okay? So, Bracing that belly, take your tailbone and pull it down towards the floor. And you notice how that this, this trunk area, this core in the back, it will tilt. We get that flatness through the back and it feels like we're pushing forwards and scooping that belly, right? So that posture, I want you to keep as we come to a hinge. So that looks like this. We come up, keeping this posture that we've just created and we lean back and forwards, back and forwards. You're gonna feel this working through the quads. 
and over towards the tops of those knees. And again, if you needed that towel or whatever it is that you're using, just popping that on the body here, it just adds as a little bit of feedback for your body to go, yeah, that's as far as I need to go. Okay. So let's go. One, two. You may feel like you're not going very far, but your body will be like, wow, I feel that. And I did a legs workout at the gym today, so I'm really feeling it. <laughs> that is for sure. So take a moment, check in on this core. Has that arch in that back returned or are you pulling that tailbone down and scooping through the belly? Let's try for another four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Take a rest. Wonderful job. Mm. A little water break. Now, onto your belly. Your hands can come wherever you feel comfortable. If you're going to pop your head down towards the floor, you're very welcome. You can have it down on the mat. You can pop your hands one on top of the other and rest like this. And then if you do that, it gives you a really beautifully long neck, okay? If I were not talking to you, that's the position that I would be in for this movement. I would be lying down like this, okay? But as I'm talking into the floor, it doesn't really help my instruction of yourselves. So I'll be up slightly higher, okay? <laughs> All right, so brace your belly button up. Bring your tailbone down so you can feel your pubic bone pushing towards the floor. We're gonna take one leg at a time and lift. You see how we're lifting from the hip and down. Other side, we take that leg up and down. The leg tries to stay relatively straight so we're not bending at the knee here. And you're gonna be head down like this. That's good. If you're finding that you've lifted up here, like the position I'm in, you might find that the lower back feels uncomfortable. So adjust your position as much as you need to, to find comfort, but still a little bit of challenge. Push that pubic bone down into the floor, brace your belly and lift and squeeze of that pelvic floor. Go on, give it a good old lift. All right, let's do eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Staying down in this position, the legs come into bent position and the toes pull, or you pull your toes towards the floor. This time we're gonna try and lift the legs off the floor. Lift, lift. So again, push your pubic bone off the, into the floor. You're not going to take your thighs very high up. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, four, and three, two, and one. Release. Press into child's pose. Oh, that feels good. And then from your child's pose, we come to your tabletop for bird dog. All right, so fingers, hands under shoulders, brace those shoulder blades down, lengthen through the spine. We'll start with the hand. So inhale, as you exhale, Straighten the arm, you can slide it across your mat or you can lift. Bring it back in and alternate to the other side. Now notice here that the shoulders are not moving and the hips are not moving. So imagine that you've got two bowls of water, one on the shoulders 
one on the hips and we're not going to let those balls of water wibble wobble okay maybe there's a goldfish in there and if a goldfish doesn't work for you imagine a glass of wine i don't mind a glass of gin and tonic whatever tickles your fancy use that visualization to really help you stabilize through those shoulders and through those hips last one on the arms and we come now into those legs so we extend across the floor if you wish to lift that's fine the leg height don't take it so high that you tilt because remember what will happen that glass of wine it's going to slosh everywhere and we don't want that right okay other side so extend and in bring your attention once you've got your glass of wine or your fish bowl all steady and stable bring your attention back to that core are you scooping in that belly button and are you pulling high up on that pelvic floor control and concentration for this one right you've got it slow and steady movements feeling that tension through the arms through the abdomen and all the way down to the tippy toes we're going to do one more and now if we can alternate opposite arm opposite leg opposite arm opposite leg beautiful exhaling as you reach away inhaling to draw the hands and the knee back to center checking in on that belly on the shoulders as you concentrate one more each side last one excellent and ooh, a little bit of a sweat on right okay <laughs> Bring yourself onto your mats, sat up. You want to feel your sit bones. So feel those sit bones. How are we going to feel them? I like to feel them by taking the bum cheek, pulling it back, doing the same on the other side, having a wiggle, and then feel that bone in the floor. So we're coming into a little teaser series. Feet flat on the floor to start with lengthen through your spine and feel them sit bones extend the hands take a deep breath in as you exhale lean back nice and straight all the way through the spine coming back until you feel that tension in the abdominals and you've got to really brace to hold your position now that could be just a little bit you could be miles back if I go that far I'm going to shake and I'm not going to be able to talk to you so find a position that you're feeling tense and then let go here let go of the neck muscles let go of these shoulder muscles so that all of the tension all of the work is happening around your core and your trunk area breathe <laughs> let's breathe scooping in that belly Let's try two more full breaths, staying in this teaser pose. Fully exhale and then sit yourself up and have a brief rest. Well done. Good. Okay, so back into that teaser options for you. Keep those feet flat on the floor or make it more challenging. How you make it more challenging is you either lift the heels up off the floor, so just the tippy toes are touching, or you take the legs off completely. 
So the choice is yours. The higher the legs, the harder it's gonna be. But what I want you to focus on is that length through the spine and that bracing through the belly, okay? It's not, it's not gonna do any good if you crumple down but your feet are off the floor, okay? <laughs> All right, so let's set up bum bones, either in the floor, lengthen that spine, deep breath, exhale and lean back, find that core engagement, and then either stay here, lift the heels off the floor, and you can already feel that working, right there, or one leg, or challenging, two legs, that's pretty darn tough. Lengthen that spine, and breathe. <laughs> breathe if we can. Holding it here. I've got the shakes. <sighs> Breathing. Oh, shaking. One more full deep breath in. Full deep breath out. And Ah, relax. <laughs> well done. Okay, when you're ready, come down onto the floor and take your body into a full body stretch. Just lengthen through those legs, the hip flexors. Pull the belly down to give you that length through the lower back as well. Mm, that feels good. Stay here just a moment, bracing that belly. Excellent. Hands, take them down to your hips, let them rest on the floor. Flat feet to the floor. So, single leg stretch. One leg will be long, one leg is gonna come up here. Your shoulders and your head can either stay down like this or can come up and meet that leg. The choice is yours, okay? So we start, I'll start with my head down, one leg up reach overhead with those hands and the other leg comes up reach overhead excellent so you're either starting here you can stay here by all means pulling that belly button in bracing and flattening that back to the floor make it harder by bringing the chest towards the knee but you notice that the chest and the knee are moving at the same speed. So we're fully in control as we go. <sighs> breathing in as we lengthen the body, and breathing out as we crunch that chest and that knee towards each other. Really feeling that working in the abdomen. I love it. We've got four more on each leg. Four here. How's that belly feeling? You're starting to feel that working. Those abs are starting to burn just a little bit. As you lift those ribs, Bring them really close towards your hips. So give it a little crunch, an extra squeeze. An extra, oh, a little squeeze out there. Good. One more, each leg. Let's go. Last one this side. Last on this side. Full body stretch. That feels awesome. That's nice. Oh, big breaths. Excellent. Whenever you are ready, you're going to scoop your feet as close to your bottom as you can. We're coming into some shoulder bridges here. So as when we stood up and we rolled down and we rolled the spine vertebrae by vertebrae down towards the floor, we're going to do the same, but from the hips, we're going to push the belly in pressing the back to the floor and lifting the tailbone off the floor. This is the first stage of this shoulder bridge, but your bottom cheeks are most likely still touching the floor here. Mine certainly are. But now I've got my belly braced, my back is pressing the floor, and I'm gonna scoop up 
in the pelvic floor. So I know that my core is nice and strong and nice and engaged. Once I'm there, I'm gonna peel the spine up off the floor, slow and steady, coming up. Once we're here, we'll do a few reps here. We'll then start to add some leg lifts into this as well. And the key is stabilizing through these hips. That happens in that very first phase where we tilt the pelvis and we brace the core. To return down from here, we take the spine at the top, drop the spinal vertebrae all the way down, keeping this tailbone still tilted upwards so that your back flattens against the floor. Your tailbone is still off the floor right now. And then as your bum cheeks reach, we tilt and we come into just slightly neutral. So just enough space under the back to slide your fingers in. And then we go again. So should we do this? Yes, let's do. Hands on those floors, tilt that tailbone, brace, peel the spine up. And as you exhale, roll that spine down. Keep that tailbone turned up towards the sky until you're feeling your bottom just touching the floor and then tilt that pelvis and we go again. Tilt the pelvis the other way, lift. And down. Now then, if you braced really well at this point, when you reach the top, steady and stable, lift one leg up, extend if you wish, bend, drop that leg and roll back down. It's an option, it's a level. Good. And again, rolling through that pelvis. Feeling that spine off the floor as we come up steady, strong and stable. We lift and we roll that spine slowly, control down to the floor and we go again. Roll it up at that top, lift that leg. Excellent. And then slowly, slowly lowering that spine all the way down to the floor. And lift. Good job. Good job. How was that for control? Are you feeling it? Are you maybe wobbling? We're going to do one more each leg so two more shoulder level or shoulder raises shoulder bridges whatever level you're working at whether you've got the leg lift or you're staying strong here at the top it's your choice one more to go roll lift leg if you've got it if you're going for it that's it and then roll that spine all the way down until that pelvis. <sighs> Release, relax. Let those legs come long, stretch that body out. Good job. We'll take a breath or two here. Excellent. And then we're going to finish our final move with a little bit more balance work. It'll be seated balance, so when you're ready, bring yourself up into seated. You want to find those sit bones on the floor once again. So come into a V-sit hold. Find those sit bones. Your hands, they'll either be on the back of the thighs, the back of your shins, around your ankles, around your big toes, around your feet, wherever you feel comfortable. Same as the uh, the V-sit, or that teaser, sorry, where we come back and we want to create that length in the spine. This time the legs are coming up with us. So let's all start together, hands behind those shins. We've got bent uh, behind the shins, sorry, behind the thighs. 
we've got bent elbows at the minute, lengthen the arms out so they're now straight and feel that you have to work your belly to hold this position. Long through the spine, this is your first level, okay? So be comfortable here. If you're happy there, lift the heels off the floor. If you're happy there, lift the feet. So this is like the teaser. And then if you're happy there, lengthen through the legs, holding, like I said, you could be holding the shins, the ankles, I've got the toes, you could be holding the feet. But we want to be long through the spine. And we're going to really focus now, whatever position you're in, maybe you're in teaser with your feet flat on the floor. You might be up here, you could even be here, if this works better for you. But we want to be challenging the balance a little bit. Okay, maybe you have legs open. Be open B. Okay, completely your choice. Find your position and then simply breathe. Deep breaths. That's good. Good. Just a few more breaths, keeping that focus and the balance. done and then when you're ready bring yourself down into a seated position well done ah <sighs> take a big breath let your abdomen release release that pelvic floor release those shoulders if that's where you've been tense up here and just let it go sit yourself nice and tall and just take a moment to really appreciate how much awesomeness you've just given your body and how much awesomeness your body has given to you there because that was lovely when you're ready you can come and join me in a little bit of a mermaid stretch i do love a wonderfully controlled slow and steady pilates session i love the feeling of my body working it makes me hot and sweaty as well which i like to be I like to feel like I've done a good workout and I must admit I feel it after that so I appreciate those of you who've joined me live those of you that do this on the recording I so appreciate it when you guys do that as well so thank you so much excellent now I do want to know did you have bowls of goldfish or glasses of wine? <laughs> you need to tell me, sit yourself up. Take your body into a little bit of a twist. Oh, that feels great. Oh yeah. And then all the way around to the other side. So if you had a glass of wine on the hips and the shoulders or a goldfish, let me know. What did you use as your visualisation? Come into forward position. If the legs crossed, by the way, is not comfortable, pop them out here, completely fine. We're just going to fold the body forwards. That's it. And then sit yourself up nice and tall, lengthening all the way through the spine. Take a really big breath deep down into your belly. And that is you all finished with your Pilates session. Thank you guys and girls and everybody for joining me, uh, be it live or be it on recorded. Let me know how you got on, give me a thumbs up and I'll be seeing you again for some more Pilates, yoga, weight training, whatever it is, sometime soon. All right then, I'll catch you all later.